Do you use in my opinion every time you are in a conversation and you're giving your opinion? So watch this video because I'm going to show you the seven phrases you must know to express your opinion in English. Coming up! Hey friends, Teacher Fix here to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Thanks for watching this video and if it's your first time here, consider subscribing because every week I have different videos to help you become a better English speaker. But let's get started! Expression number one. Personally, I think, or only personally. Personally is an option to, in my opinion. And here one very important thing, guys. Don't pay too much attention to the translation. As I said, these are seven expressions that you can use to give your opinion in English. There is some difference in formality and I will tell you, but other than that, don't focus too much on the translation, focus on the situation. And here the context is opinion. So every time you're giving your opinion in English, these are the expressions you can use. So personally, you are expressing your personal opinion. So personally, I think this is a bad idea. Why don't we try again? Personally, I think it's too soon to tell uh, if this is going to be a good government or not. We will have to wait and see what happens. So, in my opinion, it's too soon, too early to tell, to know if this is a good government. We will have to wait and see what will happen. So, you see, I could change and say, in my opinion, it's too soon to tell. In my opinion, this is a good idea. Or you can say, personally, I think this is a good idea. All right? When you use personally, you will need a verb, okay? Personally, I think this is a bad idea. Personally, uh, I feel that, I believe that, but personally is a great way to start. And as I said, you don't always need to, to use the verb after personally. Hey, what do you think of Maru 5's uh, new album? Personally, I hate it. So you see, in this case, I didn't use personally, I think, or personally, I believe. I just use it personally. Expression number two. It seems to me that. Now, this expression is a little bit more formal, so I recommend using this expression in more formal environments. Maybe if you are in a uh, business meeting or if you are uh, maybe giving a lecture and, uh, or in a debate, this would be a very appropriate expression to show to give your opinion in English. Here are some examples. So, um, I was talking to some colleagues and it seems to me that our new CEO doesn't really know what to do about uh, our next project. I was talking with other directors and it seems to me that our CEO is not sure of what to do about uh, our company financial problem. You don't need to be answering a question, okay? If you are in the middle of a conversation, of a discussion, and uh, you want to express your opinion, these are wonderful expressions for you to use, okay? It's not just to answer a question. What do you think of the CEO's decision? Well, it seems to me he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, maybe you are talking to your colleagues and directors and you want to express your opinion about your boss and uh, in a more formal context, okay? Remember, or you are in a debate and uh, you want to express your opinion about what someone else said. So these would be good expressions for you to use. And in this case, it seems to me would be a little bit more formal. Number three, to be honest with you. Now, I like this expression because you can use in any situation, formal, informal, of course, it depends on the conversation, okay? Because here, although I am expressing my opinion, I am being very honest about my opinion, which we should be, actually, in any situation. If we're talking to someone and giving our opinion, we should be honest about it. So, this is a very nice way to start expressing your opinion or to answer a question of something someone said. For example, you're with a friend and your friend just bought a new apartment, a new house, and they ask your opinion about it. So, hey, 
What do you think of my new place? Hey man, um, to be honest with you, I think it's a little far from the city. But if you're happy with it, I'm okay. So here, in my opinion, it's a little bit far from the city, from downtown or from the city. But if you're happy, I'm okay. I could use, in my opinion, I could use personally. I could not use the way I see it. It would be strange because this is a more casual conversation you are having with a friend. Number four, the way I see it. Huh, I like this one. The way I see it can be used in many kinds of conversations, formal conversations, informal conversations, depending on the conversation, okay? More casual and fun and exciting conversations? Um, no. More serious debates and conversations? Definitely, okay? Just remember that just because a conversation is serious doesn't mean it's formal, okay? There's a big difference here. So if you're talking about a more complex, complicated conversation, the way I see it would be nice. I have seen this expression being used in formal situations, informal situations that are not so informal, so casual, but are not too formal either, okay? So maybe if you're having a serious conversation with your friend and he really uh, needs your help to make an important decision, and uh, this would be a good expression for you to use. And remember, you don't need to translate it, you just need to understand that you can use it to express opinion. It means, in my opinion, okay? So the way I see it, bullying in schools will only end when parents and teachers start working together on finding solutions to deal with those kids. So here I express it, my opinion in a very serious uh, subject, which is bullying, which is awful. So I said that the way I see it, in my opinion, bullying in schools will only end, will finish, when parents and teachers start working together to find a solution. Okay, so in my opinion, the way I see it, bullying will end when this starts happening. What do you think? And this is not necessarily a formal conversation. It's just a little bit more serious than if I asked your opinion about the last movie you watched, okay? Number five. Oh, before that, are you enjoying this video? Yes? How about hitting the like button? And if you find this video useful, help the channel grow by sharing this video on your social media with your friends. That way, more people can learn seven really cool expressions to express opinion that native speakers use all the time. Number five, as for me, now, this phrase is a little tricky, okay? To use this phrase, I need to consider that this phrase will only make sense if it's a follow-up phrase, if it's a continuation, if it's a response to what another person said. So I can't just start expressing my opinion with this phrase. It needs to be a response, usually a contrast response, to what another person said in the conversation. For example, Peter wanted to sell the house right away. As for me, I need more time to think about it. The judges believe the criminal is innocent. Now, I will continue expressing my opinion, which is different from the judges. As for me, I think that man is guilty. He should be in jail. The judges believe the criminal is innocent. Now the follow-up. Now my response, my opinion. As for me, I think that criminal is guilty. Or you don't need to say I think, okay? As for me, he is guilty. This is a little trickier, but it's very common and you can use in many kinds of situations. You could use in a formal situation, oh, I would prefer other ones, but it's a very popular expression to express opinion. Just pay attention that you need to be referring to what someone else said and it's usually a contrast, a different opinion. Number six, in my view, the way I see it, in my view, in my opinion, same idea. For example, in my view, climate change is a very serious issue that people don't seem to be very worried about. So, the way I see it, climate change is a very serious issue that people don't seem to be very worried about. To be honest, climate change is a serious issue that many people don't seem to be very worried about. So, you see, I can change 
Because in my view, the way I see it, it seems to me that are expressions to use to give opinion. And finally, number seven, if you ask me. Huh, this is a very nice expression to give opinion. This phrase can be used before you give your opinion and after you gave your opinion. For example, if you ask me, you did the right thing about Peter, you made the right decision, you did the right thing about Peter. Or I could say, you did the right thing about Peter, if you'll ask me. So both at the beginning or at the end, first before you give your opinion or after you give your opinion would be fine with this expression. Remember, these expressions mean, in my opinion, focus on that. Write them on your notebook and next to them write explanation, in my opinion, in my opinion, more formal, more informal. That is the best way to study without translation. Now, to practice, I will ask you three questions and I want you to give me your opinion in the comments. But remember, use these expressions, okay? Question number one, do cell phone apps help you or waste your time? Number two, is social media a good thing or a bad thing? Hmm, let me know your opinion about this question in the comments. And number three, is English really important? Tell me your opinion about this question, okay? This is a very nice way to study and learn new vocabulary, new expressions that native speakers use all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!